Hey everybody, Ant Pruitt here. Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. And I want to do another quick tutorial that'll show you how to get the most out of your drone footage. In particular, let's take a look at those little artifacts that shows up on the screen when you're trying to shoot in 4K. You know, it's those artifacts that sort of looks like zebra stripes and sometimes it just looks like little razor edges that are showing up inside of the trees or on the sides of buildings and things like that. It almost looks like it's just a tad too sharp. You can easily fix that inside of Premiere Pro. Now granted, you can turn down the sharpness inside of your, your drone's application that manages the camera, but in my experience, reducing the sharpness from the app level just makes it super soft and super blurry. So I'd rather just fix it in post instead of trying to fix it beforehand. So let's open up Premiere Pro and walk through this thing. Okay, so we have our Premiere Pro project open, and this is just some B-roll that I shot here in downtown Gastonia, North Carolina. Um, I actually use this as some test footage for those LUT packs that I shared previously. But if you scrub through this footage, you will notice the little bit of artifacts and sort of jagged edges that show up, like on this rooftop here and back here in the leaves. So if I hit play, you see how it sort of looks like it's, I don't know, almost like noise. Well, maybe not noise, but like electrical noise or something. I don't know the best way to describe it, but it just does not look right. And you really, really see this inside of 4K footage. See how it's sort of flashing in and out like an LED look right there on the screen. So... It's nice crispy 4K footage, but those little details like that drive me nuts. So here's how we're going to fix it. All right. You want to go ahead and give yourself a new adjustment layer and make sure that it fits the size of your sequence. So you drag your adjustment layer over on top of your footage because when you're using an adjustment layer, you are processing this non-destructively. Next, you want to go to your effects tab and search for sharp. Okay. And when you do that, you will see Gaussian blur and you'll also see sharpen. We're going to use both of those. So we're going to put the Gaussian blur on there first, and then we're going to drag the sharpen on there next. All right. And as you're working on your adjustment layer, you look at your effects control here on the left side of the screen, and we're going to soften this image just a touch with the Gaussian blur effect. So I like to do maybe two pixels, something like that. And you scrub through it and I still see a little bit jumping around right there. So I'm gonna increase that to maybe five. Still see it there. And that's the thing, you play around with it to see what works best. And then also, it makes a difference when you're looking at it versus uh, full screen, I mean full resolution or half resolution or what have you. I'm gonna take a look at it with full resolution. Okay, see so that looks way better. Let me take it back down to five just to make sure. Scrub through it. I see just a little bit happening right there on that roof. So we'll take it up to seven. Go back. Okay. That looks much better. But now the problem is it's a little too soft. It's not crispy. It's not sharp enough. That's why you have that sharpen effect on there. So if you increase that, we'll do five and see if that gives it a little more detail, but not too much. And that is looking better. So let's bump it up just a little bit more. We'll bump it up to say eight and see what happens here. And play through. Okay, yeah, 
that's much better. Easy, there you have it. And of course, you can just render this out. I like to do sequence, render in and out, and let Premiere Pro do its thing. Okay, so now it's rendering out real quick to make your preview a little bit better. And when I hit play, this is much better. I could probably sharpen it a little bit more, but I think this looks fairly nice. Let's make it 10. And then we'll do one more render since I'm increasing that. Okay. Yeah, that'll work right there. So there you have it. You just add a Gaussian blur, add a sharpen effect, and you just adjust these settings to your liking. So there you have it. A nice simple fix inside of Premiere Pro to get the most out of that drone footage that you shot. I appreciate you folks watching this. If you want to continue to support the channel, you can start by hitting that subscribe button and then you hit the like button and then you hit the share button. Also, I want to send a shout out to the folks at Audible who are also trying to support this channel. You can get yourself two free audiobooks by signing up for their 30-day free trial. If you don't want to keep the trial after the 30 days, you still get to keep those free books. But head on over to antpruitt.com audible to get your free audiobooks. Thanks again for watching. I catch you guys on the next video.